Hey crew, it's your girl Alexis and I'm back with another video. If you are new, go ahead and join the crew and press that subscribe button. By the title, you already know what's up. It's going to be a quick little fun baking video. And yes, I have my robe on because when I cook, I like to cook comfortable because the food just turned out better then. But before I get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Continue to show me y'all love and support. But y'all... <laughs> I seen this little video on Instagram. It was like a revamped cinnamon roll recipe. And when I tell you I tried it out, it turned out so good. I cooked it about, or baked it about four times for my family. And I think we low key addicted. Well, I know I'm addicted. And I was like, I gotta pitch y'all on because the woman pit me on, I gotta pitch y'all on. So stay tuned, let's get into it. Okay, so for this recipe, you need six simple ingredients. You need your cinnamon rolls. I chose original, but you can choose the one that you like. Ground cinnamon, butter, heavy whipping cream. And I know you're probably wondering like what you need heavy whipping cream for, uh -uh, but don't knock it till you try it. Brown sugar and then some powdered sugar. I have the oven on 375 because I have a nonstick pan. If you don't have a nonstick pan, then you're going to follow the instructions on the cinnamon roll can. And I believe it's going to be 400 degrees. First step, make sure you wash your hands. Wash those grabbers because you want clean hands. I already washed mine. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I have my nonstick pan. I like to just be extra sometimes. So I'm going to spray it with some nonstick. Better be safe than sorry. Next, you're gonna go ahead and get your cinnamon rolls and open them up. This always makes me nervous when I have to like press and like, oh shoot, oh my God, see, <laughs> I get nervous y'all. <laughs> Next, you're going to place it how you like it in your desired design. So that is how I want mine to be baked. Next, you're going to get your heavy whipping cream. Yes, y'all, I'm extra, so I'm going to be a do extra. And you're going to put that between them. There's really no set amount. You don't want to like drown it, of course. Enough to spill the bottom. You know, I'm gonna do a little more, because why not? I'm gonna do a little more too. That step is done. Let's go to the next step. Alrighty, so the cinnamon rolls is not in the oven yet because we have to do this step first. You're gonna get you some butter. There's really no set amount. It just depends on um, how many you're making. Go ahead and put this in the um, microwave to melt this down. So this here is gonna be a brown sugar and cinnamon mixture that is gonna go on top of the cinnamon rolls. So my butter is melted. I'm gonna get some brown sugar. Probably like two tablespoons, maybe three. Yeah. You're gonna get some cinnamon. Not too much and not too little. And you're gonna stir it. And of course, if you want it thicker, you just add more brown sugar. Alrighty, next step will be to add this on top of the cinnamon rolls. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some in the milk. Alrighty, that is done. Next stop is the oven. They are in the oven and they're gonna bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. All right, I figured it was time to show my face again since I was showing the ingredients and the steps and process. 
while the cinnamon rolls are in the oven baking we're gonna start on the final step which is the homemade cream yes i said homemade cream call martha stewart because i think she got competition because I'll be like chef, you know what I'm saying? I'll be chefing. But I know you're probably wondering like why the heavy whipping cream? Because it's gonna make it moist. Who won't dry cinnamon rolls? Brother Jesse? Inside joke, guys. But who won't, you know? <laughs> who won't dry cinnamon rolls? Nobody wanna dry cinnamon rolls. Sorry, you guys, I had to giggle. That was an inside joke. But um, the heavy whipping cream is so that um, the cinnamon rolls will be moist. But I'm going to go ahead and get into making the um, cream. Also, at the beginning of the video, I forgot to add two ingredients that you all will need. Um, will be like whole milk or the regular milk you use for like your cereal, oatmeal, all that good stuff. Your regular milk and then some vanilla flavor. All right, so this step here, we're going to be making the homemade cream. Although the packaging does come with cream itself, we want more because more is just better. So you're gonna get your powdered sugar. I have a family of four, my dad, mom, me and my sister, so I have to do a little bit extra. You're gonna get your milk of your choosing, not heavy whipping cream, you know, regular milk. Pour a little bit in. And then you're gonna get your vanilla flavor. And stir. And of course, if you want it thicker, you're gonna have to add more powdered sugar, which I'm gonna have to do. Alrighty, so this is the consistency that I like. Next step is to get the cinnamon rolls out the oven. All right, you guys, so it's about three minutes left on the timer, and when I tell you the aroma, it makes me want to just snatch them out the oven right now, but I have to wait because they're not done yet, but it's about three minutes left and I can't wait, but the smell is all over the house, and I already know my family about to come out their rooms because they know what time it is, but... Three minutes and y'all will see it. All righty, you guys, they are out the oven. Look how golden, moist, and good they look. Just wait till I add that cream on it, but get into it. Okay, so you do wanna add the cream on it once it get out of the oven since it's still warm, that way it can spread. So I'm gonna use the cream that came with the cinnamon rolls. All right, so I wanted to show you guys the cinnamon rolls before I add the homemade um, cream. This is how it look. Y'all look at that extra milk. Oh my God, it's about to be so moist and good. I'm excited. And y'all can tell I'm a foodie by how excited I am making this video. But this is the before, getting to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the homemade cream. Just enough, not too much. We'll have leftovers. Okay, and this is it after I added the homemade cream. Okay, y'all, so the cinnamon rolls are done and out the oven, and I'm just ready to eat it with some ice cream and drizzle some, you know, caramel. Yeah, I'm extra, but it's busting. I'm telling y'all, try it last time. It's so good. But comment down below, how y'all feeling? Do y'all think y'all want to try it or no, it's not for you? But if you do try it, let me know how it turned out, okay? But I know they're going to be good because I made them and I, you know, made them before and before and they just turned out good and better each time. But I don't want y'all to think I'm biased. So I'm going to get my sister and let her try it in front of the camera. That way she can give y'all her honest feedback and reaction. So I don't want y'all to think I'm biased just because, you know, I'm the chef and I made it even though I know they're going to be good. But let me go get it. I'll be back. Stay tuned. All right, crew, I'm back. I have my sister and I have her cinnamon roll. Y'all, it's just so moist. Like, mm, I don't want to see it sliding because it's so moist. But I'm not going to try because once I bite it, I'm going to keep going for more. So this is her moment. Let me know. And it's still warm. Okay. 
I'm gonna do I'm on it so bad. Mm. <laughs> Y'all see? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's good. What would you rate it? Is it moist? Yes, yeah, moist. You can taste that, you know, Sorry, extra yeah. flavor. Hold up. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. All right, we back for real. So, how was it? Um, it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you might, you know. Um, you know. And she don't be lying. Like, she didn't say, like, so yeah, it ain't, if it ain't good. It's missing it something. But, but it's, it's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for trying it. No I know problem. my mom and dad about to come running to get there. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the one that I want, which is the middle piece. Because she stole the middle piece last time. Because she stole the other middle pieces. No. The other, yeah. No. Hold Let me tell you. Mom on. stole the first one. I and never got a middle had, piece. No, I never got a middle had, piece. Who had it on the second one? Not me. I'm it wasn't you. me either. Sister she things. I promise you I'm not lying. I did not have the middle piece. I'm not going to have it today. Okay? Because I've been cooking it. Baking it. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it like my sister did, mm -hmm. you know. Brother Jesse, we got to try yours next, though. <laughs> it ain't going to be like mine. You don't, don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also, comment down below if you decide to try it. Let me know how you like it. And if you like this video and you want more like it, let me know because I want to keep y'all entertained and intrigued. But go ahead and subscribe. And I am out. Thank you.